In this video, I'm going to quickly summarize everything you need to know about maximum and minimum points on curvy graphs. So, what's a maximum point is just a point at the top of a hump on your graph, and a minimum point is just the bottom of a hump. And uh, a maximum and or minimum are not actually necessarily the highest or lowest points on your graph. They are just the highest point on a hump or the lowest point on a hump. So if you have lots of humps on your curvy graph, then you're going to have lots of maximums and lots of minimums on your graph. Now how do you work out where your maximum or minimum points are on your graph, you just find out where the gradient is zero on the graph. Now before I explain how you do that, which is basically using differentiation, and if you don't know about differentiation, just go to the videos before this in this section on my website sickmaths.com, the link is in the description, uh, and just go to the IGCSE differentiation section. Now anyway, carrying on, why is it that the gradient has to be zero? Well, let's just look at it um, logically. As you're going towards a maximum point, which is at the top of this hill, you're going upwards, upwards, and the gradient is positive, and then from the maximum you go downwards, don't you? Obviously, because the maximum is the highest point. So as you're going downwards, you're, you've got a negative gradient, so somewhere in between being going upwards where it's positive and downwards where it's negative, it had to stop at zero. So you can see the gradient for at the maximum point has to be zero, and the same can be said about the minimum point. The gradient also has to be zero. Now, how do you actually work it out? How do you find out where the gradient is zero? you use differentiation which tells you the gradient at any point on the graph. So this dy by dx represents the formula for the gradient at any point on this graph or this curve. And uh, f dash x is just another way of saying that. They both represent a formula which is in terms of x. So if you make that formula in terms of x equal to zero, you've got an equation with x's in it and when you work out the x or the values x could be you've actually found out all the points where you've got either a maximum or minimum point but the problem is when you find out these solutions you, when you find out the values of x it's going to tell you both the maximum and minimums but you won't know which is which you will know that you've got what is called a turning point or a stationary point which is a general way of talking about either a maximum or minimum point so this is a turning point because it turns from positive to negative and so is that a turning point because it turns from uh, negative to positive in this case over there and it's also called a stationary point because if you imagine this to be like a speed time graph the speed is going up there and it's going down there and at this point there it's zero and the same kind of stuff over there so these points together maximum and minimum points are called turning points or stationary points and this works out all the stationary points but it doesn't tell you if the stationary point or the turning point is a maximum or a minimum. So how do you do that? You use this thing here, the second differential. So let's give you an example. Say you found a stationary point at point x and let's call point x uh, uh, 5. Okay, and uh, x equals 5 is, is basically a solution to f dash x. So you use the x equals 5 into this second differential function. And if you don't know how to do that, do check out my previous video in the same section like I mentioned before. 
and uh, you put 5 into the second differential and if the result is bigger than 0, i.e. a positive number, then at x equals 5, because I said x equals 5 was a solution to this, at x equals 5 is where you found a minimum point on your curvy graph. So you can imagine that could, if we're talking about this uh, graph here, this is a sketch of your graph, then x equals 5 is over there. That is where you will find your minimum point. Now say another solution to this same uh, differential f dash x uh, equals 0 is 1. Say a solution is that. So one solution was 5 and now another solution is 1. Now say we put that 1 again into your second differential function but this time you got a number less than 0 out of this function i.e. a negative number then that means at x equals 1 because the solution x e uh, to this one of the solutions was x equals 1 like we just said then the x at x equals 1 you've got a maximum because it was less than 0 less than 0 means you got a maximum greater than 0 means you got a minimum so these are just examples, yeah, I haven't actually given a, a, a equation to fx, which you really need to do uh, to be able to do this properly. This is just a rough outline of everything you need to know.